I've um, been involved in bone conducting hearing implant surgery for quite a number of years. Um, I um, have been involved with the Cintio project from the early days of its uh, development and uh, I first used the Sentio uh, implant almost a year ago in about June 2023. Um, my patients um, have been very vocal in their, their appreciation of the Sentio system. They are very pleased with the sound quality that they've got from this device. They're very pleased with the, the look of the external processor and um, they've been overwhelmingly positive in their, um, their experience of using the Sentio. Um, re the recovery has been very straightforward. Um, we have had um, every patient has been done as a day procedure, so they're in hospital for a few hours after the operation. My, my views on the Sentio implant are very positive. I think it's a great addition to the field of bone conduction hearing. Um, I think it's a very um, aesthetically uh, pleasing device and also the external components are very um, beautiful and well designed. The, the size of the implant is really important. The um, patients are of different shapes and sizes. The thickness of their skin is very variable. Um, the area behind the ear is not, in most patients, a very thick area of skin. Um, and so a device that is very bulky, that's going to sit uh, on top of the bone, risks damaging the skin over the top of it. And, um, and some of the benefits of the Sentio is that you can recess that into the skull and hopefully is going to be less of a, a pressure against the skin over, overlying it. So it's, it's very important size-wise to be as thin as possible. So I've used pretty much every transcutaneous device that's, that's been on the market um, in various patients over the years. And I think the Sentio is going to become the leading device within this field. Um, it is um, a, an easy device to, to use. It's an easy device to insert and it gives good performance for the patients.